So let's look at doing some pressure conversions. So we're going to make or use the ideas that we were using in stoichiometry to do pressure conversions. So how many millimeters of mercury and kilopascals are in 0 .830 atmospheres? So we're going to start with what is given in our problem. So we have 0 .830 atm. And then we are going to times the line. We want to get rid of ATM, so it's going to go on bottom. And let's start with millimeters of mercury, so we're going to put that on top. These are going to be nice, simple equations like this. We're just going to have one times the line, plug in our numbers, and we're going to get an answer. So where do these numbers come from? Well, this comes from the previous screen when we looked at all of those different relationships. So at the top, we had one atmosphere. And that atmosphere is related to or equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So then all you have to do is do the math. Take 0 0.830, multiply it by 760, divide it by 1, which does nothing, and we get 630.8 millimeters of mercury. So simple conversion here. Longer dimensional analysis, stoichiometry ideas that we've been working with. So what if we wanted to change it to kilopascals? We still have 0 .830 atmospheres. And we're going to times the line. We have one atmosphere on bottom again because we want to get rid of atmospheres. So remember, whatever's on, we start with, put it on bottom to cancel it. This time we're going to change it into kilopascals. So we have 101.325. Now you're going to have to be careful with that point and that comma when you're doing uh, pascals and kilopascals. Always the point with the kilo. And then we just multiply. So 0 0.830 times 101.325, and we get 84.10 kilopascals. So simple pressure conversions. We'll use these more when we start changing between pressures and different instruments that we may be using. So could we do stuff with manometers? Sure. So, for example, Bryce uses a manometer to measure the pressure of a gas in a container. So we've got a container that contains some kind of gas. She hooks it up to a manometer. What we know, then, is the level of the mercury is higher on the open end. Well, in our description earlier, we had this closed. Well, sometimes it's not always closed. Uh, we could have it open to the actual atmosphere. So open to the outside world or your classroom or whatever. And then we could change the level of this mercury that's in there. Uh, so this would be our open end. Because our closed end, of course, has to be attached to the gas. So which has more pressure, the gas or the atmosphere if the mercury is higher on the open side. So basically without uh, anything in here, without any pressure, these two would be equal. However, this has moved down and this has moved up. So now we have here and here. So my mercury now falls along or takes on this. So I am at a lower level here, a higher level here. Which one has more pressure? Well, if they were equal to begin with, the gas has pushed down on this pressure. The atmosphere doesn't have as much push on it. So we're going to say the pressure of the gas is greater than the pressure of the atmosphere. So how could we use that information? Well, what if we assigned some numbers to these gases in the atmosphere? 
So we know the pressure of a gas is measured to be 732 millimeters of mercury. So again, we've got our gas container. It has 732 millimeters of mercury. We already know we've pressurized it to be that. Hook it up to a manometer, or Joe hooks it up to a manometer, and it shows a difference of 28.4 millimeters in the height on both sides. So we know it's going to be higher on one side by 28.4 millimeters. So our next question, or our next statement, if mercury is higher on the open side, so again, remember this is our open side, so it's going to be higher on this side than on this side by 28.4 millimeters, because remember that's our difference. So if the mercury is higher on the open side, what is the pressure of the atmosphere? So this is what we're trying to figure out, the pressure of the atmosphere up here. Well, from the looks of it, because now we know we have this situation, the pressure of the gas is pushing down more because it's higher on the atmosphere side. So we know that the pressure of our gas is going to be greater than the pressure of our atmosphere. So we know the pressure of the gas is 732 millimeters of mercury. Now, we need to make this number bigger than the number we are looking for. So how can we do that? Well, we can subtract off 28.4 millimeters. And even though it says millimeters, since it's in this YouTube contraption or the manometer, what it is, it's millimeters of mercury because it's filled with millimeter or with mercury. So this is still millimeters of mercury. So then we just need to do our math and we get 703.6 millimeters of mercury. And that will satisfy our equation here, our P gas being 732, pressure of our atmosphere being 703.6, and the gas is greater than the atmosphere.